Hello there guys, Vreen Plays Games here, and I'm at it again with another OBS video. Now, these settings will be for 1080p, 60fps. Um, you don't have to have the best CPU, but I will show you the settings for mine, and hopefully, if I remember, I will also tell you settings if you have a lower CPU. So, how about we start it off by going into settings, and if we start from the top, we are uh, languages is on top, so put that to, uh, what you speak, I do, I speak English, so put that there, and then change your setting profile to whatever you want, so this is my recording setting, so I put recording, next is encoding, uh, make sure that that's on X264, now if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you could put that, but there's also some issues with that, so maybe just stick with the X64, that's been very re reliable for me. Now, since you want a small file size, because you know not everybody likes to sit there and try to upload a gigabyte video, even if you have a decent internet, it just takes a while. So, put your quality balance to 10, put your max rebate to 1000. I know 1000 sounds a little weird, but uh, it's going to work out. Just watch, just wait to the end. So, make sure that you, you have uh, AAC. For your audio and put your audio bitrate to 192. So once you have everything that, just continue to the next thing. Broadcasting settings, it really doesn't matter. Um, well, if you never touched OBS before, obviously you're going to want to put this to file output mode and then uh, choose an area where you want the video to go. Then also put it to .mp4 because that's what most uh, most programs understand. So once you finish with that, go to video. And here's going to be your video adapter. Now I have the GTX 1060, so that's what I chose. You're going to want to put your monitor uh, resolution there. So I have a 1080, I have a 920 by 1080 monitor um, with 16 by 9. Now that should automatically be there, I believe, but if not, um, this is how you go and find it. You just right click on your screen, display settings, pull up your display settings, my first monitor, advanced settings, I guess it's my second monitor, 1920 by 1080 is recommended. So that's what I did. But there's a, you could always change it, but that's what's, what is recommended. So let's go back in settings, go back to video. All right, so now here it will be different depending on your CPU. Now obviously you if you really just want the 60 FPS mark, that will be fine. But if you have a lower iCore, uh, i5, or even an i3, you might struggle with doing uh, 1080p. Uh, now if you have like the brand new i5s, you could probably do 1080p without an issue, just have this filter, um, like if I downgrade that, you can put, change this filter, you might have to put this on uh, the bicubic or the bill, the bill near or whatever, the fastest, but I, I want the best details, so I have that, and then I also want 1080p, now right here, so basically if you have an i7 or a high end i5, you could probably have the best detail, if not, go down to the the middle option and that should work the best and if you have an i3 um, do the fastest one or just rethink about doing 1080p and do 720 with 60 FPS now I know I haven't done many 60 FPS videos but I've noticed that they do look much better so let's go ahead to go to audio now right here is you you could have this at default so it just picks up everything but I want it to pick up what I hear so uh, I put it to my headphones and then obviously your microphone I have the blue snowball so you put whatever microphone you have there hotkey uh, doesn't really matter advanced this is where it starts to uh, get a little confusing because there's a lot of words on this page so obviously click mul use multi-threaded optimizations and then priority class now automatically it's going to be on normal um now depending on your processor now on my laptop uh if you guys are here from the beginning of my channel my laptop 
had an i5, but it was about three years old. So it was uh, pushing it. So I had it on high, and I just always had my settings on high because I want my recording to be the best possible way it it can be. So it shall be on high. Now I if you have like a medium processor but you still want your recording to be one step above your recording software just put it to above normal but if you don't feel like doing that every single time you could always just go to if you go into uh, do control shift escape that should pop up task manager just go to user is it services I believe right click I'm not sure if I no it's details details find a program so say like oh, I want OBS to be a higher party right click edit priority and you could change that for that one time and every time you restart the computer I believe it changes that's what I had experiences with so let's go back in settings one once more now, um, it doesn't really matter what you have this set, that's for your liking. Now, this is where it matters on your CPU. Depending on your CPU, I believe very fast is set as default. Um, you, if you have an i5 and you're still struggling to, and you're dropping frames, you might want to put your CPU to super fast or ultra fast, but your recording may be affected by it on my laptop i had it on ultra fast and i still struggled to record it on it but you could also go faster but you know every time you touch this it gives you the warning it says changing the x264 present may have negative side effects on your streaming quality and cpu usage do not change the setting unless you fully understand the consequences of how this preset affects your stream treat any guidelines that suggest changing this with caution you should almost never need to change this option from the default very fast so basically the the slower you make this the more CPU usage it use the faster you make it the less CPU usage it, use, it uses so including profile put that to high so you get the better quality and then right here click UCFR now this is why the file size will be low and the quality will be high because you're telling the bitrate to be no higher than 1000 but yet you still want high quality that's the little trick in the software and then over here it doesn't matter we're not doing anything higher than 61 FPS um, doesn't matter about the audio doesn't matter about that quick sync uh, you shouldn't have to do anything in here browser doesn't matter the noise gate so basically if I stop talking about here is where the th uh, I wanted to start to pick up my voice so hopefully I try to reduce my sounds because I am in the basement there's a furnace room over to my side and that could get pretty noisy at some times so just make sure that you have enabled noise gate because if you don't have that clicked it will not work and then sweet scene switcher doesn't really, I haven't uh, used this but you need to get plugins for it to work so there you go guys as long as you use these settings or at least some of these settings you should be able to have high quality with uh, small file sizes I've struggled through my first year of YouTube having crap internet, having two and a half upload, trying to upload a half a gigabyte file, which takes like a half an hour to an hour plus. Um, but now, this is one way around this. So thank you guys for watching. If you are new, remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next ep episode or tutorial.